Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to disable WordPress debug mode. So let's get started. So we are going to do this using two methods. So in the first method, we are going to do this using the WordPress plugin. And in the second method, we are going to do this using our cPanel account. So to do this using the plugin, at first we need to install a plugin on our WordPress website. From the WordPress dashboard, we are going to hover our plugins and then click on add new. Here we are going to search for a plugin WP Debugging and we are going to install and activate this first plugin. Now from the left menu we are going to hover over tools and after that we are going to click on WP Debugging. Now we are going to scroll down. Now to disable the debug mode, we are going to uncheck this first checkbox and after that we are going to check out this second checkbox which is set WB debug display to false and after that we are going to click on save changes. So this is how you can disable debug mode using the WordPress plugin and now we are going to see how you can disable it from the cPanel. So to do this we need to log into our cPanel account and from here we are going to scroll down to file section. So here it is. And from here we are going to click on file manager. After that we are going to click on public underscore html. Here it will show us all the wordpress files. From here we are going to scroll down and we are going to find wpconfig.php file. So here it is. So we are going to right click on it and after that we are going to click on edit. Then again click on edit. And now from here we will go to the bottom of the page. And here you will see a line define wp debug true. So we are going to change it to false. So I am going to replace true with false. And after that from the top I am going to click on save changes. So in this way debug mode will be disabled from our WordPress website. So this is how you can disable WordPress debug mode. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.